After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside, begging old crow, out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think. That woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling. this on yourself! I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well... You okay, darling? You okay? Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack! Get out of here! Now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy. Mama. Mama! Oh, Mama. Oh. Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Oh, my God. 
know what the hell's gotten into you sick, crazy bastards or what I've done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. Something don't feel right here. It's me! Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research. <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, well sir, I am a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man. And I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why ain't that dandy? Well, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors. Band together and find a cure, or fight to the death trying. Well, well that sounds great and all, but uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, be, perhaps staying with me.
Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? In here, mister. Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. 